Yeah, this is Paris and um, the tragedy there and our attempts afterwards to work out what to do about what's happened. Um, the answer so far being we don't know. How terrified should you be? Should you leave your house at all, ever, yeah. again? Um, <laughs> or perhaps you should go out just a bit and then run back inside quickly. Yeah. Um, it is... I mean, it, it does strike me as one of the few things we're still allowed to do is, is sort of make jokes um, and mm. laugh. Um, so we might have a go at that. Yes, yeah. what we do... <laughs> but, uh, but we have to talk about it. the aftermath of the events in Paris. What has been the British government's immediate response? Who have they hired? Who have they hired? <laughs> They've hired 2,000-something. Um, oh, oh, SAS. Spies. Oh, and spies. No, well, 19... Should we know that? 1900 extras. <laughs> 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 Do you know what that'll cost? About £2 billion, pounds, I think. £2 billion pounds for the SAS, another £2 billion for cyber security. Where's this money suddenly come from? Uh, back of the sofa in the <laughs> Chancellor's office. <laughs> it, it, it comes from the magnificent management of the economy that the government has done. That means <laughs> <laughs> the essential uh, requirements of the safety of the nation. I knew there'd be um. some comedy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Cole McCartney. Cole what? McCartney? Why? I never thought I'd hear that name again. <laughs> <laughs> Five years ago in Cairo, we had this secret affair. We kissed each other on the balcony. Oh, no, I better not say any of this. I know I didn't know who he is. <laughs> he may cost us £15,000. Do you know why? Uh, because I've just libelled him. <laughs> <laughs>